Hello, uh, hello everyone. Uh, welcome back to um, our training uh, environment where we learn more about our learning management system, uh, specifically uh, that is in Kumba e-learning environment. Now that you've been able, we've been able to uh, log in, so we want to go ahead and supply rather and get into the details of our course. So you just put in your username and password. And uh, once you're done, then you click at the login section. That should be able to bring you in, and it gives you an option um, and to be able to, you know, navigate very well in your learning uh, your learning environment. Now, once we are here, we are supposed to start accessing our courses, and these are given by giving us the different rights. To be specific, these are teacher rights which have been allocated to me as a lecturer by the system administrator. So looking through, these are some of the courses I've been allocated to teach. And uh, out of these, uh, I can access any course. And then from there, I'll be able to develop uh, these courses. Now, in case you do not have these under my courses, you don't have any course. Uh, the, it is very simple. The procedure is very simple. Simply getting access with the IT team. Or the university learning, 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 university learning management system administrator we should be able to give you uh, the rights. Uh, you can have a maximum of five courses to be able to display. And if there is any other option, then you can rather you have any other course, they can be displayed under the more section as we shall see uh, with the time. Therefore, <clears throat> Uh, for us to be able to access uh, and develop our courses, there are two things, a number of things that we can do. Our course may not be valid unless we have students. So we need to see how do we enroll students in our course or in any of our courses. So I'm going to pick one of the courses and I'm picking uh, computer applications. Uh, to be able to uh, enroll the students in my course, uh, I have a dashboard here, or I have uh, different tabs here, that is dashboard, site, home, calendar, badges, all courses, and so on. My interest is into the course management section. In the course management section, that's where I'm going to do most of the things that I want to do in my course as a lecturer, as a teacher. So I go to participants, and under participants, now I will be able to add any other participant of my choice. So I'll click at enroll users. And once I do enroll users, a pop-up window, a pop-up window comes and the pop-up window, I choose first the role to be assigned. If the role to be assigned is a student, then that is what will be there, um, uh, physical, uh, by default, but there are other roles that can be assigned uh, to um, the users. So as a, as a teacher, you'll be assigned the role of a teacher. And then once that is done, then you will go and search in the search box. We'll go and type uh, the student name, rather, we are, uh, we are enrolling a student, sorry. So we'll go and type the student name, and that is probably, um, so that is a student name called Julian Kansime. And then once the name comes, simply click at the name. And then we have the enroll section. Then you click at the enroll. And then we shall have our student enrolled into our course. That is, then she will be enrolled into our course. And we see one user enrolled, one enrolled users. So that gives us then the, that we have finished enrolling our user or our student. Looking through the system, we're also able to see where the person is. So that is one of uh, ways uh, we can see or we can add users onto our system. Now, <clears throat> okay, so we can move on. Um, now that we finished to enroll users into our system, we can go ahead and look at other options. One of the things that we want to look at is what we refer to as the groups and groupings. Just in case we do have a B class, 
if you have a big class and you want to be able to um, you want to be able to manage your class okay so for us to be able to manage our class uh, we need to create groups and groupings so in our next discussion we are going to see how we create groups and groupings thank you very much see you then groups and groupings thank you very much see you then